welcome to the dichotomy Where I break down all my philosophies With no apologies, yeah Where East meets West and beats get blessed Welcome to Dynamic Dichotomies, where East meets West and beats get blessed, where faith meets struggle and art meets hustle. I am your host, John Zhu. Today, we're doing a few videos that I want to react to. First one being another Harry Mack and UC Health joint. I love the title of this one, and I feel like it's so fitting with it being Christmas, uh, but it's keeping the faith. And uh, without further ado, we'll just get straight right into the video. So... I want to get to know uh, your story. Tell me what you're, uh, what you're well, dealing with, what you've been through, and what brought you to UC Health. Uh, yeah, well, I was in a major arc flash in uh, 2019. 77% yeah. of my body was, uh, uh, yeah, I was on fire. Wow. Trapped under a, a hotel, had to fight my way out. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, it was I'm a miracle, I guess, to be here. You know, yeah. it was it was pretty insane. And you and how long did did it take for you to you know heal? Seventy seven days. And seventy uh, it took like so I was burnt seventy seven percent of my body. Yeah. And it took me seventy seven days to heal. That is fastest crazy. healer in UC Health history. So, really? Burn center. Yeah. Congratulations. So far. Bro. Yeah. Thank you. We're gonna have some fun right now. Um, cool. I'd love to do a freestyle, but I need your guys' help. Uh, some words or topics, some suggestions, I guess, to inspire my freestyle, if you have some. Okay. Faith. Faith, love it. Uh, life. Life, yeah. Love. Love. Faith, life, love. Courage. Courage. Yeah. Honor. Honor, I love that, beautiful. Faith, life, love. Some good words. Courage and honor, those are the words. I think I'm ready, should we give this a shot? Let's do this. Let's do it, let's do it. Here we go. Uh. Faith, life, love, courage, and honor, those are the words? Okay, we're gonna have some fun with this. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah. I be coming off top with the crazy freeze. H Mac getting busy in the place to be. Y'all know when I rhyme, I came to a maze. I'm sending mad love to my man named Gabe. Yeah, and I'ma send it out to the fam too. When I rhyme, they like Mac, we understand you. I'm doing me when I'm live in the place. Every time I freestyle, man, I gotta have faith. Faith yeah. in my skills, faith in my ability, faith that I can stretch with that agility. Over this instrumental, I keep faith in my rhymes, keep faith in every line. Yeah, y'all know that we here to get live. I gotta have faith that I really will survive just like my man Gabe after all that he been through I'ma speak on it on this dope instrumental yeah y'all know my flow stays godly burn 77% of your body uh. trapped down there in the basement to hear your story that left me in amazement had to crawl your way out you had to have the faith in yo to be here today is amazing this part Word. will amaze 77% of your body in 77 days hit the uh. lines perfectly that's how you healed one of the that's best you see health for real and that's a fact no exaggeration so to you I got to say congratulations yeah. and i'ma grab your word when i'm live on this mic i said we're blessed and honored just to have your life to have you intact surviving and thriving hey yo this moment for me is now arriving i do what i do so that i can rise above i opened up my heart because i'm not one to judge y'all know at the end of the day when push comes to shove this here is all about love uh. yeah i grab the word and i make it look easy i'm focused on the l-o-v-e uh. what's the purpose of doing my art if i can't use it to open up your heart so that's what we gonna do i'ma take my turn can i Imagine how it feels when your body gets burned. Can't imagine that pain. Can't imagine all the stress that I'm sure you was feeling all on your brain. But you here to this day. You still surviving and you gon' flourish. Why? Cause you really got the courage. Yeah. That's what be amazing me. Yo, gave my G. You really got the bravery. Uh. That's fact. I know you got the strength. You strong in this. My flow be lasting too long in this. Yeah, every time I rhyme, I get gone in this. Hey, yo, the instrumental, I gotta honor this. Yeah. Honestly, when I'm on it, I know it's an essence. I am honored just to be in your presence. I am honored to spit this here. 
your lyrical insanity and hopefully lift up your whole family. It's every Mac I'm coming off the tip of this. The rhymes that I deliver to the fans are too ridiculous. I'ma have them losing it. My music's lit. I'm truly sick. Each time that I spew the spit, I do me when I'm on it. Lyrically reporting. Shouts to my man in the jeans and white Jordans. Yeah, I see him right in front of me. When I rhyme, homie, tell me what it's gonna be. Yeah, just like your father surviving from the fire. I know it left all three of y'all inspired. And you as well. I know y'all going harder. What's life if you ain't got a partner? Hey, yo, the love will combine. Sort of like the love that I have for these rhymes. Yeah, and every time I rhyme, I be lyrically scheming. And while I'm spitting, I can see they smiles beaming. We here to make the connection. And y'all know that we spitting freestyles in like every direction. It ain't no mystery. Cause Gabe be the fastest healer in the history. So far, yeah. much love. My man really did it. I grip on the mic and y'all know I gotta spit it. It's H Mag coming off the top to lift you higher when I'm finished rhyming. I hope I'm leaving y'all inspired. What? Dang, boy. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> unreal. Thank you. That was Sick. insane. Thank you. Thank you. No, wow, my pleasure. Bro. Come on, man. My pleasure. For my real, pleasure. dude. That was what up, dude. Much Thank love, you bro. so much, bro. Appreciate you, man. For real. Thank you. Amazing. That's, that's an amazing story. 77% of his body, and he healed in 77 days. That's crazy. Yo, that was sick. Um... I like that it, it revolved around a lot of positive words too. That with the suggestions, faith, life, courage, and whatnot. That was dope. Props to Mac for uplifting people as he always does. And you know, this guy is a true fighter and survivor, and uh, apparently also a man that has a lot of love in his life, surrounded by his family too and uh, his kids, um, who I'm sure are very grateful to still have him. So shout out to Gabe uh, and. Glad that he survived that and that he's still here. Um, I'm going to uh, take this a whole different direction. I mean, you know, speaking of faith, I am a Christian. With it being Christmas, I just felt like it was only so fitting that um, I get into some content that is Christian related. And uh, I did have some videos that I wanted to react to that are in that vein. So I'm going to be doing that today. Now, the first one being... Uh, Shine Lin. Uh, Shine Lin is my favorite Christian rapper, and you can't even really call him a Christian rapper because cause he coined the term lyrical theology, and that's what this man does. I mean, he's so skilled on that lyrical level. I mean, he's up there with some of the greats. He, he has, like, this pattern that I even copied for a while because I was so amazed by how he would always rhyme four bars at a time. And not only just, the, like, the last portion of that bar, but, like, even internal rhymes, too, but always four bars in a, in a row. And he kept that pattern consistent. Sometimes he goes 16 bars at a time. But uh, really, like, that skill level is there. But on top of that, it really is theology, theology being the study of God. And this man is a true theologian. Uh, he's a pastor. And so he spits on that level. Like, a lot of the stuff that he spits, it's almost like... It's like a lecture you would hear at a seminary or a Bible college. And I'm a seminary dropout, so I've taken some classes in Bible college. And, and so I can really say that with confidence. He's really spitting that knowledge, Christian knowledge. And for the first time in years, he dropped a new project. And so I'm excited for this. So this is Chai Lin, Elder Statesman. Let's get into this, y'all. Let's break the silence. I recommend reciting Psalm 90 while visits in the graveyard. It reminds me how limited my days are. And yo, I need that. The clock's ticking. It's not fiction. The rock quickens as the plot thickens. To be real with ya, I kinda don't know where to start. Flying solo like Amelia, I guess I'll air my heart. Me Ooh. familiar no longer looks familiar. My God is real. Fly like Amelia, I'ma air my heart. Yo, that's crazy. Amelia Earhart, a female pilot legend, you know, from way back when. And he said, I don't know what Psalm 90 is. I, I mean, I don't know the psalm well enough to be able to tell you what it is. But then he said, I recommend reading it through a graveyard. I could tell this is going to get heavy. And a lot of times his rhymes do get heavy. They're weighty. Uh, so, man, I'm just, I'm just preparing myself to get in the right mind state for this. Just ask Mahalia, I guess I'll share my art. It's been a few I years. I was quick. Leah, I guess I'll air my heart. Me familiar, no longer looks familiar. My God is real, just ask Mahalia, I guess I'll share my art. It's been a few years. I was on my shard day, not stressing what they all say. Still repping Yahweh, the yeah. goal is still the same. Point you to the sun, he's ruler. And drop gems like a clumsy jeweler. Since still Jesus to 7,000 holding me down. Industry. 
Drop my gems like a clumsy jeweler. Come on. Bars. Expectations can still rep in Yahweh. The goal is still the same. Point you to the sun, he's ruler. And drop gems like a clumsy jeweler. Since still Jesus to 7,000 holding me down. Industry expectations controlling me how. I'm compelled. The 7,000. Uh, I believe that's a reference to the Old Testament when um, Elijah had that showdown with a bunch of the Baal prophets, and he really felt like he was the last one left repping for Most High, and he was just hiding out in a cave, and uh, he's like, Lord, I'm the last one left, and God said, no, nah, I saved 7,000 for myself. I have reserved 7,000. You're not the only one. So uh, I believe that's what that reference is. Let's keep this going. Patience, the mind's easy jeweler. Since still Jesus to 7,000 holding me down. Industry expectations controlling me how. I'm compelled to patience. The mind state of an elder statesman who's dwelled in basements. It smelled the pavements. Directing statements to a wretched nation lacking reverence. Making declarations on behalf of heaven. I didn't understand why she left before. Now I'm seeing Lauren. I had to make a choice. Local church or keep on touring. Social media. Watching God's people warring. I was laying in the cut like Neil Sporing. He the warning. Repent before the passion ends. And Jesus Christ. Yo, I like that he referenced Lauren Hill because she was was out of the uh, limelight for a long time just hiding out and then he said in the cut like Neil was boring i'm just i'm just commenting on those bars i'm just that's just that's hidden hard comes back Yo. to keep on touring social media watching god's people warring i was laying in the cut like neil sporing he the warning repent before compassion ends and jesus christ comes back like fashion trends this is special ed believe and you got it made the reason i'm not a slave the treason that god forgave <laughs> I know that not everybody that watches my content is Christian. So when he says Jesus coming back again, he's talking about the second coming of Jesus. Jesus came a, a, in the flesh as, as a human being, but the Bible talks about his second coming. And the second time, you know, the first time he came through, he came to save the world of their sins. The second time he's coming back to judge and to take his people home. So uh, that's that's the reference when he says Jesus coming back. On my knees like Neil Sporing, he the warning, repent before compassion ends, and Jesus Christ comes back like fashion trends. This Ooh. is special ed, believe, and you got it made. The reason I'm not a slave, the treason that God forgave. On my knees to my God, I prayed. Lord, please make me more like Jesus than I got betrayed. Caught in the quagmire, optimism backfired, got dragged by the impious and attacked by liars. It was bugged to me in such a mystery. How brothers couldn't publicly in love disagree. I was grieved by the shift, let it leak in the booth. Became the enemy of many just by speaking the truth. Got canceled before cancellation was a thing. And I'm still proclaiming the emancipation of the king. Come As on. I reflect on the past, I grow much in hindsight. I own what I highlight. I know I'm only finite. And now I'm more than ever I feel alone when the emancipation of the king uh, that's the king emancipating people from sin from damnation this Christian message is the gospel and this man is very gospel centered so just had to address it uh, earlier I, I mean it, it, it stays in my head like he said stuff about like the familiar not looking familiar and like leaving like Lauren I don't know if there was some drama with his family that I don't I, I'm not sure if that's what what it's a reference to I haven't heard any updates about Shylin, so I don't really know the details like that, what that might be a reference to, but man, I hope the brother's doing all right. But yeah, let's let's keep this going. All right, the last few years, as I reflect on the past, I grow much in hindsight. I own what I highlight. I know I'm only finite. And now more than ever, I feel alone when I write. The last few years feels like the zone of the twilight. I spoke on ethnicity with biblical equations and cast responded based on political persuasions. Secular conservatism only fanned the hive and got Christians sounding like the oldest man alive. I see my closest friends walk away from the faith. The Lord knows my sins. It's only by grace that I'm saved. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Please don't let me go astray. Left to myself, I will fall today and throw it all away. Without Jesus, I'm straight toxic. That's Britney. Without Jesus, I'm out of control. That's 50. With Jesus, I have abundance. That's a litany. Without Jesus, I have nothing. That's Whitney. On each Ooh. page of scripture, pearls for the wise. Ooh. Boundless facts to counteract the world and its lies. Like your ultimate worth and happiness is found in what you do. Stuff that's new or how much you accrue. All it does is make your life an endless quest. Until you get it and you realize it's emptiness. I got friends that are millionaires. Some are depressed. I've had convos with billionaires and wasn't impressed. 
Some people write songs for Christians to get bread. I'm trying to write something to help you on your deathbed. Like Come you're on. a great sinner, Jesus a greater savior. Trust in his death and his resurrection and he will save you. Who can calculate the worth of Christ? First you might evaluate his perfect life and the purchase price. Eternal life, the gift for all who call his name. Christ to all the blame, all the shame, all the stains. Whether Hall of Fame or Ball and Chain, we're all the same. Making faulty claims, we brawl and maim, causing pain. Left to ourselves, we're headed straight to hell. When we replace the word with the world, well, that's when we take a L. Oh the fact is rappers be smothering their tunes with swag that's backwards. It's gauze to cover up the wounds Ooh. of insecurity and desire for affirmation. Let Messiah fill your entire imagination. When you're in the soil, you ain't tripping over dudes. A loyal few is better than... This is what I'm talking about. This is why Shia Lin is my favorite Christian rapper. And not just even that. If I had to be real, real deep down honest, I would say this dude's my favorite lyricist, period. If we're just talking straight up lyrics and bars, because his bars are weighty. Like, he doesn't use filler bars. I mean, yeah, he does have a lot of wordplay and it's very clever, but each piece of it is saying something. And it's it's something that has weight and meaning. <sighs> Man, this reminds me why Shy Lin, um, you know, was such a huge inspiration for me. There was a lot of times I, I used to write a lot of my bars, same kind of same structure, like four bars rhyming, the next four rhyming, the next four rhyming. Got that from him and wanted to really represent Christ properly. I don't do it to, to this guy's extent. But, man, uh, this is hitting hard. This is hitting hard. Let's keep it going, y'all. Fickle multitude and desire for affirmation let messiah fill your entire imagination when you're in the soil you ain't tripping over dudes a loyal few is better than a fickle multitude the finish line is so close it would be absurd to leave salvation is nearer now than when we first believed the words he weaves together and each verse agrees sends the worst disease and can't be cured by surgeries but christ serves reprieve when for the church he bleeds search to perceive what jesus taken our curse achieved risen and exalted the lord is a warrior a man change but the weather solely Deo Gloria. Yes. Oh man, I needed that. Soli Deo Gloria. That means to God alone be the glory. Soli Deo Gloria. I mean, that is what this man lives and breathes uh, with his life. Uh, sounds like he's going through a lot of hard times. Talking about feeling more alone than ever. Uh, seeing a lot of people go away from the faith and the familiar, not looking familiar. You know, it just the, there was a lot of weight to this, and he's really reflecting on the brevity of life, and I, I, that resonates a lot with me. I've lost multiple friends through the years. I lost my mom. I lost my grandma. I lost a lot of people, y'all. And so this resonates a lot with me. And through that, he's holding on to the hope that he has in the gospel. And yeah, as a Christian uh, and as that's trying to walk that straight and narrow, man, I'm feeling this track so much. I want to end it with one more video because I was really surprised to see Talib Kweli put out a video about Jesus because I didn't, I don't think that Talib's Christian. And if he is, I, I never heard mention of it. So uh, he put out a track I just came across today, uh, and it's called What Would Jesus Do? And so I don't know. I, di I didn't know Talib Kweli would rap about Jesus. Um, I, I'm not sure what he would say, but the dude is deep and also a, po a very positive dude. Very, very gifted MC, one of my favorites. So I'm very curious to see what this will be. So let's let's check this out, y'all. And um, yeah, this is gonna be the last one. Lord, you came upon a midnight clear to bring joy to the world and draw us near. It was a holy night when you came from up above to fill our hearts with hope and love. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, sweet Jesus. This is tripping me out. I've never heard these types of words coming from Talib Kweli and for such a dope MC to be acknowledging Christ on the mic like this. <sighs> I'm getting chills. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's see where this goes. For clothing us with comfort and joy. And 
Rio de Janeiro, that stands an immaculate effigy of a copper skinned, woolly haired Palestinian refugee. Who would never be defined by the state of religious labels. Enemy of the status quo, he was flipping over the tables. The birth of Jesus cause for celebration from the church. It preaches people going to church. Lest these days to pass the search for reasons, congregations hostile. They wary of the prosperity gospel. Yeah, they operate on faith, but they still logical. Some say improbable, impossible, unbelievable. A fairy tale. Oh crazy multi-syllables and dude is dropping i didn't realize he knew so much about jesus and that he would get, go in like that talking about flipping the tables jesus did that in the temple because he saw the hypocrisy just trying to make money off of people trying to worship god and they're selling like animals for sacrifice and trying to make extra profit uh and, and jesus got you know in his righteous anger flipped the tables and drove the people out he he he, he's talking about that and man yo he's going crazy I, di I i didn't think talib would go in like this about jesus this is this is tripping me out y'all let's, let's go let's go about as mythological as best these days to pass the search for reasons congregations hostile they wary of the prosperity gospel yeah they operate on faith but they still logical some say improbable and, and he talks he, he talks about the illogical um you know uh philosophy of prosperity gospel prosperity gospel the false teaching of saying you now basically name it and claim it treating god like a genie and saying you know if you pray or if you believe in jesus or if you give enough offering or whatever it is that you'll get whatever you ask for and that's a false doctrine that is false teaching and for talib to even be addressing that yo this dude's going in is talib christian y'all i am tripping out right now possible unbelief these days to pass the search for reasons congregations hostile they wary of the prosperity gospel yeah they operate on faith but they still logical some say improbable impossible unbelievable a fairy tale about as mythological as pikachu others say he's a composite of sketches religious leaders drew a tool they used to make it easier to keep deceiving you treating you like a child playing how to seek a peekaboo you can get the new testament translated to hebrew too so when asking what would jesus do factor in that he's a jew in fact muslims also believe in jesus they call him Issa true Dang, all right, all right. like what would jesus do The Messiah, they call him King of Kings like Sire. Predicted when Moses saw the bush on fire. Come on. Before they saw the signs, they was worshiping at a shrine. In the Gospel of John, we see Jesus become divine. Palestine was a colony of Rome. I'm talking 63 BC. The people, they just wanted to be free. Total domination, that's all they know under the Roman occupation. Used the violence to control the population. Like a Jedi with the force, the God be making the dead rise. You know, Santa flying all through the night like a red eye. Just a prophet known to target every lie like a dead eye. Read about it in the Aquarian gospels by left by and what did Jesus do between 12 and 13? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, he's talking about the time when Jesus came, you know, the Roman Empire was in power, and then he talks about now Jesus was a Jew. He's going in, yo. Wait, hold on, I need to run this back. Those last. I'm just trying to track Much more than you've been known to target every lie like a dead eye. Read about it in the Aquarian Gospels by left eye. And what did Jesus do between 12 and 33? Much more than just being a carpenter in Galilee. He didn't come to bring peace but a sword. Wanted to overthrow a rod for the kingdom of the Lord. Wow. Whoa. Carpenter in Galilee. He didn't come to bring peace but a sword. Wanted to overthrow a rod for the kingdom of the Lord. I had to run that back because the way that he pronounced Herod, he, Herod, yo, know, he like when he said Jesus didn't come to bring peace but to bring a sword. Yes, Jesus is known as a good teacher, a, a great person by many, uh, but he himself said, "I didn't come to bring peace but to bring a sword." He's quoting Jesus's words there, and um, you know the gospel is very polarizing, y'all. So I realized that it's very possible I could get canceled by being this. Uh, verbal about my faith it's probably the most verbal i've been and when it comes to re these types of reaction videos uh but it is what it is you know i'm a christian i'm not ashamed of it he he is king of kings and lord of lords and i i gotta follow him 
and it is what it is. But man, for Talib to be dropping heat like this about Jesus, and he's on point with it too. I'm really, really tripping out, and I'm deeply encouraged. Like that's that's crazy. I have such respect for Talib. You know, I've been following him for a very long time, but I've never seen him spit about Jesus like this. This is just mind blowing. All right, let's keep this going, y'all. Like what would Jesus do? Like what would Jesus do? Born in a world of bad guys, to a mama with them sad eyes. Child special enough to receive gifts from the magi. So official, you refuse to follow their laws, so they had to get you. We forgive you because of the daddy issues you carry with you. The son of God is also the son of man. You come out hard. They told us you was white, but your plight tells me that you're one of ours. Looking towards the heavens, trying to find Jesus amongst the stars. Your arms too short to box with God. The devil is the undercard. Back to basics. Alright. I just had to say it because... Yeah, the whole uh, depiction of Jesus being a white man is incorrect. He was a Jew. <laughs> he, he was he was Middle Eastern, and he had darker skin. And so, uh, and, and it is true. He he definitely wasn't a white man. So I I gotta agree with that. Truth is harsh, man. You come out hard. They told us you was white, but your plight tells me that you're one of ours. Looking towards the heavens, trying to find Jesus amongst the stars. Your arms too short to box with God. The devil is the undercard. Back to basics. The truth is harsh, but still I have to say it. Love a lot. That's the word for God. We're speaking Aramaic. That's the language spoken by the people in this time and region. Archangels falling out the sky, trying to form a legion. Culture freedom comes out the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding. This might be your name. Archangels falling out the sky to form a legion, a legion of demons. Demons are fallen angels. That, that's that's biblical. That's that that's what the Bible tells us. So and then you know, talk. He talked about God's superiority over the devil too. And yeah, that's all biblical. He's he's spinning biblical facts here. This is this is insane. Your mother speaking in Aramaic, that's the language spoken by the people in this time and region. Archangels falling out the sky, trying to form a legion. Culture freedom comes out the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding. This might be your name if your mother's Spanish. We multiply the loaves of bread when a brother's famished. Blood will sanitize you of your sins before the cut is bandaged. You talk about multiplying, you know, the bread. It's that uh, uh, Jesus you took. Uh, five loaves of bread and two fish and fed thousands, uh, you know, and, and there were multiple occasions where he just took a little bit of food and just multiplied it and fed huge multitudes of people. So, yeah, man, he's he's addressing a lot of biblical uh, events and he's just spitting. He's just dropping so much knowledge. y'all. this is this is sick. Talib Kweli, man. What a pleasant surprise, my brother. I did not know this dude is, has so much biblical knowledge like this. I hope he's Christian. I don't know if he is, but this track right here gives me strong indication. It makes me think, man, he maybe he is, yo. That is so dope. Oh, I got chills, y'all. Yo. Yo, I am so uplifted right now, man. I watched that Shylin video. And then to hear Talib Kweli rap about Jesus. Are you kidding me? Man, Merry Christmas, fam. You know, Jesus is the reason for the season, you know, especially for the Christians. And, you know, I don't think we know exactly when Jesus was born. But this is a very special time and a holiday where we do especially think a little bit more about the coming of Jesus and how God sent his only begotten son that we be, we could become his sons and daughters by putting our faith in him and by receiving his grace. This is so meaningful that I get to share this with y'all and to be able to share this reaction at this special time. I'm going to kick up a freestyle like I normally do, but man, hope y'all stay blessed. I hope y'all all are good and that everybody would have a, a good time with your loved ones. And that God would reveal his love to you, too. Honestly, that's that's something that is a, a deep desire of mine. And I hope that I can be an encouragement to you in the faith. And uh, for I hope you see the love of God in me. For everything else, please pardon me. 
You know, I'm I'm just a fallen MC like everybody else, you see. So with that being said, uh, let me just freestyle and uh, we'll wrap things up here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Got love for all of y'all. Two, 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 two. Public service announcement for all the people out there listening to this funky boom bap album. <laughs> check, check it out. Yeah, stakes is high. But you see, even though the stakes is high, God sent his son and he paid the price. Became a living sacrifice that I could look into him and find my eternal life. He's the key to the paradise. It's not like I'm shaking up a public dice. This is safe bet. This ain't a gamble. He flipped the tables. And the devil aimed his ammo at us. Shame and guilt. A lot of sin as well. And we all about the depravity of man. Held down by the gravity. Trying to attain that wealth. We continue to fall. Slaves to all of this. Sin around us. Lots of temptation. But Jesus came as a man, and as a man, they call it the hypostatic union, cause he was 100% God, and 100% man, with more wisdom than Solomon, I put my faith in him, and I ain't afraid to represent, until my time is spent, I understand the metaphor of the ram of Abraham, cause he is the one and holy lamb, yo, and he gave it all for us, I continue to put it down, for the great I am, cause he is the architect of the gift and he in the house no matter of fact he's the builder of the house i'ma build mine upon the rock of ages anything else is still outrageous i give him all of my praises to my jesus one love fam merry christmas happy new year blessings to all of y'all one love peace